half inch or an eight millimeter. Factory, I do believe, is an eight millimeter nut on this, and I'm aftermarket cables, half inch. So I'm going to disconnect the negative battery cable. Loosen it enough so that we can wiggle it and pull it right off. There we go. Make sure it sets aside so it doesn't hit it again while we're working. The connector for the ABS sensor on the passenger side is up on the passenger fender well right behind the coolant reservoir tank and it's this connector right here. So we're going to squeeze the tab and then pull that connector away from the harness. Like that. I'm going to remove the center cap. I use a little hook. They have a little spot so that you don't damage the actual alloy rims. Pull that right off. That's a 19 millimeter lug nut. So take the wheel off. So the ABS line comes down through the fender well. We disconnected it from the top. There's a clip right here. So I take a body tool clip or a pin on needle those pliers and get right in there, get that clip out of the spot. And then we can pull this right down. Take it out of the holding brackets. Might need a pair of pliers to get this metal tab up and out of the way. There we go. And then one more. You can use needle nose to get this out of the bracket. Now we're going to set this up and over. Make sure it's clear with the caliper. I'm going to remove the caliper and bracket together. So there's two mounting bolts in the back and they're 18 millimeter socket. this up and out of the way. I'm going to get a caliper hanger because I don't want it putting any pressure on that line. I'm just going to hang it right there. Just like that. We remove the rotor. And now we can see the mounting bracket for this ABS wire. So the bolt for this ABS sensor is a five millimeter Allen head. Turn it counterclockwise. Once you get that bolt out of the way, you can just grab that sensor and twist and pull up on it. So now we're going to install the new ABS sensor and we're just going to reverse the procedure. So I'm going to line up the sensor itself put it right there. It has kind of like a little o-ring on it, make sure it seats down. And then I'll get the mounting bolt. Start it by hand. And because that's only like a, it's about a six millimeter bolt, Thread, just gonna snug it down, make sure it's tight. And as you can see, there's this little notch right here in the knuckle. So we're gonna put the beginning of the harness right through there. And I'm gonna bring this back up out of the way. Now we can put our rotor back on. Grab my 
caliper mounting bolts, get them handy. Take this caliper off the bracket. Here we go. Slide the pads right down. Get one of the mounting bolts. Let's see if I can go this way. Make sure you slide it by hand. And that was the 18 millimeter socket. I'm just going to snug them up and then I'll get the factory torques and torque the caliper bracket to knuckle. You can run that line at least back up. So this flat little clip goes right in that spot. There we go. Slide that up. Push that middle tab down just in a little bit. You don't want to pinch that wire. You just want it to hold it in place. Put all these lovely little grommets in the holders. Fish this wire up through the back of the control arm. And you're going to find that little bracket for this to go through. There we go. So the caliper bolts bracket to knuckle are 73 to 97 foot pounds. So I see that these are fairly new bolts. So I'm going to go with right in the middle, I'm going to go to 88 foot pounds. If you have old bolts that could be stretched, I would say go to the max to 97. All right, so now we've lowered the vehicle and we're back in the passenger side fender well. And here's our connector. We're gonna find the harness end, line it up, push it until it clicks. Now we're gonna reconnect our negative terminal. Make sure it sits all the way down on that battery stud. Half inch wrench or socket, and just tighten that right up. You want to make sure that it's tight. I like to hold the cable down so I don't bend it. Make sure it has no movement. See? So now we can put our tire back on. We'll just bottom them out, 19 millimeter socket, do it in a star pattern or a crisscross. Now we can put our center cap on. You can see the actual spots for the lug nuts to sit and studs. Just tap it on.